guys, Joe Kelly here. Today we're going to be talking about booking more work. Yes, please. And um, we'll cover the topic by talking about the real problem, the consequence of the problem, and what you can do about it. Also, at the end of this live, I'll be sharing how we are supporting you during this COVID period. I hope you're all well, by the way. I hope you're all healthy and safe indoors. Um, taking care of yourselves and your families. So at the end, I'll let you know how we can support you during this time, but let's dive into our topic, booking more work. So booking more work is what all actors have in the back of their throat, right? So you probably find yourself that way too, always thinking about, I wanna book more work, I need to book more work. It's like sometimes it can become an obsession no matter what level you're at, right? Because I see actors that are beginning, I see total pros, and it's never enough, and you always want more. So um, it can be a little bit frustrating if you really don't feel that you have enough. It can jeopardize your sense of professionalism, of am I a real actor if I'm not really working enough, I don't have enough auditions. So it can, <clears throat> it can, make a lot of pieces inside of you really vulnerable. And the way that I want to address this topic today is to look at booking as actually not the problem. Booking or the lack thereof is actually a consequence of the problem. So, um, and of course this might be controversial and, and this might be irritating um, for a topic, but let's look at what booking actually is the result of, right? So. You're an actor, meaning your art is the, the art of being fully alive. That's the discipline you're involved in. And um, if you're fully alive, that's the first piece of your puzzle, then you have your raw material, right? When you have your raw material, then you'll go out and get some headshots so that you can send them, that to offices around and to agents so they see your face. Then your next piece is to have a reel, then your next piece is to find an agent. Then your next piece is that your agent will find your auditions. And then your next piece is to show up at those auditions and to actually book them, right? So the booking is, is you, you can't do a shortcut to the booking. You can't constantly obsess about, I wanna book more, I wanna book more, and not pay attention to all of the pieces that actually lead to booking. So the first, and in my opinion, only, and absolute first, definitely, first thing you need to take care of is your instrument, right? If you're incapable of being fully alive, fully open, which means that when you show up at auditions, for example, you feel that you have blocks, tensions, nerves, that you shrink, like no matter how ready you are before an audition, you show up and you're a smaller version of what you know you can be, that you kind of trip yourself and block yourself and freeze and try to do it right and just do something flat or forget your lines, all of that kind of stuff is a sign, like more of an alarm signal actually, that your instrument is not free. If you don't have a free instrument, it's a little bit like saying if you're an architect and you're wanting to build the house more, you, you're wanting to live in a house and you're an architect. Well, if you don't start with the base, the foundation really of the house, you shouldn't try and build anything on top of it because everything will collapse. Well, booking is the same thing. Booking is like, I wanna live in that house, but I don't wanna pay attention to the foundation. I don't wanna pay attention to the walls. I don't wanna pay attention to the beams that hold it all together. I don't wanna pay attention to the, the structure, the roof, I just wanna live in the house. Well, you're, you're gonna live in a tent if you think that way because you actually have to have all the steps, all the Lego pieces go together for you to have a finished house that you can live in. And it's the exact same thing when it comes to acting. If you don't have the foundation, meaning your instrument is fully free, fully alive, capable of showing up when the camera says, the casting director says action or when the director says action, and that you're completely there, just the same that you were in your room, well, you, you don't have your foundation. So you shouldn't expect and skip that part and obsess about the booking. If your foundation is not present, everything's gonna collapse. Just like 
in a house, right? So if your instrument is not extraordinarily free and open and capable to be there present in the moment, fully alive, when you'll go do your headshots, what's going to happen? You're going to have a 10% version of you, a 90% version of you, an 80% version of you. I don't know. But if you close up when you're um, doing your headshot shot session, you might kind of look good and polished and the photographer will do his work. But if you're not able to be fully present, alive, purposeful, knowing your instrument from the inside out, you'll have headshots that don't reflect in any way what you're capable of, that don't transmit your essences. So when people look at them in casting office, they can't see you. They just see a picture of someone who looks good or who looks right or nice, but they can't see a human being, right? Take that same instrument that's not completely open, bring it to a reel, it's gonna be the same thing. You're gonna have a little bit of scenes here and there of like material that you're gonna throw in there and edit, but does it represent the best thing you can do? Does it represent the type of roles that you're meant to do because you know your instrument again from the inside out and you know what type of roles you wanna do and how great you are at them? Same thing, bring that headshot that's not 100% you and that reel that's not 100% you, what agent are you gonna find? And etc. right? What auditions is he gonna get you? The ones you don't want. How are you gonna show up at that audition if your instrument is not 100%? You're gonna show up 50%. How are you gonna book? You're not. And if you do, it's gonna be luck, but it's not gonna be recurring, right? So now, let's rewind, and you have an incredibly extraordinarily free human, fully alive, fully human, fully open, unblocked, untethered, untied up, untamed, right? If you have an instrument that functions, is reliable in an athletic, in an Olympic way, every piece of the puzzle will work. You'll be incredible in your headshots. The presence you'll have in those headshots will stop people when they go from one headshot to another because you will be there. Same for your reel. It'll be consistent. It'll reflect your essences. It will give a, a, an essence of the being that you are so that when people look at your reel, they get you, they see what you're capable of, right? And then of course, you meet the agent that works with you because you're so present that you can only match with someone who's as present as you. Then they're excited about you. They're excited to take, pick up the phone and pitch you, no matter if they're big or small, right? And then when you go to those auditions, well, you come in the room and people know that this, <laughs> there's a pro in there. There's someone who is actually there. There's not someone who's trying to come in and get the part or do it right or look good or please. There's an actual human being who's raw, alive, present. It's so rare. They'll see you as soon as you come in. That's how you book. And when you do that and people see your work in the movies or the shows or the plays, whatever you book, they'll want more of you. So that's how you book more work. It's not obsessing about the end because the lack of booking or the booking is just the consequence of your instrument being extraordinarily human. That's all. And if it's blocked, if your, your, your instrument is still conditioned, is still, you know, under its nerves, under its blocks, under its shrinking, well, you're not there. So none of this can work, right? So why is this important right now during COVID? Because during COVID period, what you do have is time, right? And during this time, you can work on your instrument, you can work on your headshot, on your reel, on your agent, and on training yourself. When would you work on all of those pieces when the world is you know, going around like it usually does and we all have way too much to do and no time to do it? You can't attend all of these things when, when we're working on a normal, because it's a crazy rhythm out there. So now is ideal because it's, it's time to go within and to do this work. And of course, the first thing you want to have all your ducks in a row, but the first duck in there is you. So you really want to have that conversation with yourself and ask yourself, okay, am I, am I a hundred percent? Am I able to actually show up a hundred percent like me, not caring about what other people think, or am I sucked into doing it right? 
Am I just frozen because of my nerves? Am I choked because I'm so scared? So ask yourself that. And maybe you can comment in the video. If you know that you're not 100%, now is the time to do the work to get 100% so that all the pieces will be taken care of and therefore you'll increase your booking. If one of those pieces is not taken care of, there's no way that you can book or book more, right? Okay, so um, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the questions. And I wanna let you know that during this special COVID period, we are supporting actors. We know it's a challenging and very uncertain time. It triggers a lot. Um, the shows are canceled, they're postponed. Things will come back to normal, but right now it's not. And so we are supporting you with a BOCO offer, which means that you can buy one, get one free. You can join with a friend and split the cost of the journey. Or if you don't have a friend, you can even reach out to us and we'll match you up with someone so that you can do this work at 50% of the regular rate um, and reset your instrument to be completely, utterly, extraordinarily free and human. And it takes 33 days. So that's about the time we have left. I think for as far as we know, we might be stuck longer at home, but we definitely still have that. So I'll check if you guys have any questions so far. I don't see any, but please do. Please do write them. If you're watching this in the recorded version, again, feel free to post um, your questions, write friend in the comments or find in the upper, um, up a post you can put your name and write friend if you're looking for a friend and you want to join the reset journey for 50 percent do it that way and we'll we'll hook you up or if you have a friend yourself um you can join with your friend all right so that's it for today i hope you have a wonderful wonderful weekend and i'll see you again next monday bye guys <laughs>